Saturn SA-5 was launched on January 29, 1964 at 4.25 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 37B at Cape Canaveral. It was the first orbital launch of the Saturn I rocket, having been preceded by four suborbital tests of just the first stage. It carried a ballast payload of 10.6 tons and put a total of 17 tons into orbit, the largest payload to orbit achieved to that point. This was the first time the United States had bested the maximum payload capacity of a Soviet rocket. John F. Kennedy noted about this launch on November 21st, 1963, the day before he was assassinated. While I recognize that there are still areas where we are behind, at least in one area, the size of the booster, this year I hope the United States will be ahead. Sadly, he did not live to see this launch, which he identified specifically as the one that would accomplish that goal. Occurring only two months after the first successful launch of a Centaur stage, the first cryogenic stage brought to orbit, the Saturn I boasted the S4 upper stage, which had six RL-10 engines compared to the Centaur's two. The six engines were tilted to ensure each engine's thrust was directed through the center of mass so that the stage could compensate for an engine loss. The redundancy was one aspect in this rocket's favor, as Werner von Braun opposed the development of Centaur and advocated putting payloads on Saturn I instead. The cost was the main problem for Saturn I, as its eight-engine first stage and six-engine second stage added up to a significant price tag. While the RL-10s were especially expensive, being a unique technology, the H1 engines on the first stage were upgraded versions of the engine on the Thor rocket, so the Saturn I was essentially equivalent to launching eight rockets. That fact was made very apparent by the fact that its first stage is actually eight Redstone rocket tanks strapped together around a Jupiter rocket tank. In the wake of Kennedy's assassination, it seemed all the more important for NASA to honor his legacy by fulfilling his goal of reaching the moon by the end of the decade. In four months, the Saturn I would start carrying Apollo Command and Service Module boilerplates, simulating the Apollo spacecraft launch. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Saturn SA-5.